Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Build a Castle. This is episode 2, and in the last episode we designed the layout of the castle. We built the gatehouse, and we also did the front bit of the wall, either side of it. In this episode we're going to build a bit more of the wall, and a couple more towers. And then we're going to try and tackle the inside of the courtyard. That will contain various buildings, and also the inside section of the gatehouse. The next section of the wall we're going to tackle is this section to the left hand side which will continue the wall round and then go into a much larger square building at the end. What will contain rooms such as the kitchen, the pantry and then higher up where there will be living quarters. With building the wall I use the same features what are present in prior parts of the building. So the crenellations on top of the wall and then just underneath that the decorative stone brick. For this section of the wall I wanted to create a larger area for any defenders to defend from. I did this by adding a small balcony that shuts out, protected by a stone wall and also a wooden pitched roof. With the square building, I rounded off the corners using these towers. These will house the stairways for the building. So you'll have the bottom floor, which I mentioned before, which will contain the pantry and the kitchen. And then on the upper levels, as I said, it will also contain the living quarters. Since these are higher up and needed to be less defended, the windows will actually contain glass higher up, as opposed to using the iron bars lower down. I then played around with the stone stairs and also the stone fences until I came up with a facade that I liked. Although it, it doesn't offer any defendable or structural benefit, it adds a bit more detail to otherwise a very flat surface. Coming around to the other side of the building, I placed this 40 meter high tower that's been inset into the side to create an interesting level change. Back on the corner of the building, I added some windows to where the stair wells are going to be, and then added detail to this smaller section of wall. Again, like before, I added this small balcony lower down that overlooks the ocean. With the tower, I made it again so it was thicker at the bottom, so it looked more structurally sound, and then going up, I continued to add more windows and detail. On one of the upper levels, uh, it will contain a door that leads out onto the roof of the adjacent building. To finish it, I just capped it off with another pitched roof. We come now to the east side of the castle, where as you'll notice I've already placed down uh, another similar building to the one we've just made, uh, containing this time only a 30 meter high tower attached onto another square building. I still wanted the wall to attach to the roof of the adjacent building, so it means that there's quite a large incline that actually passes through the centre of the tower. Since this leaves quite a large surface area of the wall, I came up with the idea to add more detail and depth to the building to create this balcony that comes from the inner courtyard and joins up to this new square building that's just been built. You'll also notice that this section of the wall is a lot lower than the rest of the walls in the castle. This wouldn't be a problem as the side it's facing is the ocean and there's already a very large steep cliff but any attackers have to go up first. There would be no way for any siege equipment to make it round to that side of the wall. To leave a little bit of variety in the build, I left the tower on this side with a flat roof, that way any battlements can be placed on top of it. We now will make our way on starting work in the courtyard. So first I started with the building we built at first. Uh, it had a very large flat roof. This is impractical as if there's any large snowfall it would add too much weight onto the roof and it would fail. So I pushed it back into itself and added this wooden pitched roof halfway down the side of it so the lower levels are still quite large on the inside. The building that you're seeing built now will most likely house either the granary or the trades of the castle, so the on-site blacksmith or tailor. It's also been raised up off the floor to prevent any water from finding its way into the building. To accompany that, the windows are also set back with a large lip above them and a canopy above the doorway. For the path of the courtyard, I carved out the rough area of where it's going to go. 
and then I filled it in with a mixture of cobblestone and gravel to create a textured effect. I also added some surface water and some grass to the floor so it didn't look so plain. This next building is going to be part of the barracks. Uh, there's two towers either side of it at the moment which is connecting to the main wall and to also the gatehouse. This part isn't going to house the living quarters for the soldiers but more the armoury which is suitable since it's next to the blacksmith. It will also act as an entrance to the arrow slits that are located in between the main gate and the first portcullis you come across. I extended the path so it meets the gate and then I also continued to do what I did before and add uh, some more foliage to the ground to add some more depth. I then played around with a few ideas to finish off the gatehouse uh, by adding a few more death holes and inadvertently also adding another portcullis so now there's three portcullises on top of the main gate all within a small area and there's also arrow slits now added between the second and third portcullis once I found the rough design I liked I copied and pasted it over to the other side of the gate and then just added the last few finishing touches So I think we're going to call it here now for this episode. We achieved what we set out to do, which was to extend the walls out a bit more and add a couple of more towers to it. I do like how it's turning out so far. And as we come around this tower now, you get to see the good chunk of the inner courtyard, what we've done. So in the next episode, we're going to finish off the walls towards the front of the gatehouse. We're going to bridge it over so it actually reaches the mainland. And we'll also finish that last little bit of the courtyard map to be done. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you next time.